get to ready. Hi, it's Mrs. Ferris from Wood Library, ready for our last time for twos for this series. We'll start up a new series in January, and today we are going to have stories about turkeys. So, shall we get started, Violet? Okay, can you pick up the first book? This is called Turkey Train. It's written by Steve Metzger and illustrated by Jim Payot, and it's published by Scholastic. And you'll notice that this is a rhyming book. Wake up, Betty, Bill, and Jane. Get ready for the turkey train. Buy your tickets in Fort Wayne. All aboard the turkey train. Feathers ruffled, don't complain. Find your seat on the turkey train. By afternoon, we'll be in Maine. So off we go on the turkey train. Games and puzzles for your brain. Make new friends on the turkey train. Gobble, gobble, tasty grain. Time for lunch on the turkey train. Outside the window, pouring rain, warm and snug on the turkey train. Rock and rollers entertain. Sing and dance on the turkey train. Stopping now near Lake Champlain. Don't be late for the turkey train. Over mountains, through the plain, lots to see on the turkey train. The engineer applied the brakes, the turkey train slowed down, and from her window, Betty said, we're here, I see the town. The turkey train stopped at last. The doors all open wide. Turkeys large and turkeys small quickly raced outside. Did you notice there's snow? Oh, they're gonna have some fun. Turkeys skating, turkeys skiing, sledding down the hill. Turkeys have a snowball fight. Whoops, <laughs> one just hit Bill. The turkeys played all afternoon until the sky grew black. We've had so much fun, said Jane, but now we must go back. The turkeys were all in their seats. No one could complain because everyone was fast asleep on the turkey train. Do you think you would like to ride on the turkey train? Might be fun. There'd be a lot of gobbling going on, though. Well, do you think you can make train wheels with your hands? Just have them go back and forth like this. Down by the station, early in the morning. See the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the station master pull the little handle. Chug, chug, toot, toot. Off we go. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see my wheels going. Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the station master pull the little handle. Chug, chug, toot, toot. Off we go. Two more times. Chug, chug, toot, toot. Off we go. One more. Chug, chug, off we go. All right, well, let's get another story. This is called The Thanksgiving Treat. It's written and illustrated by Katherine Stock and is published by Bradbury Press. And this is kind of a wraparound cover. Excuse our label back here, but you can see the whole family is getting ready for Thanksgiving. And what's the centerpiece? I'm at Grandma and Grandpa's house. It's Thanksgiving and everybody is here. My mother and father and brother and sister and aunts and uncles and all my cousins. 
The house is full. The house is busy. Grandma and Mommy are stuffing the turkey. Can I help you? I asked. Oh, not now, sweetie, says Mommy. Careful, the oven is hot, warns Grandma. See if you can help your sister. My sister Mary Ann and the other girls are peeling potatoes and scraping carrots. Can I help you? I ask. You're too little. You'll scrape your fingers, they say. Aunt Sally is making pumpkin pies and cranberry sauce with my other aunts. Oh, careful, honey. You nearly knocked over the cinnamon. Go see if you can help the boys, she says. Do you think he's too little to help? I think that's how he's feeling. My cousins are shucking corn on the veranda. We can do this, they say. You can go and play outside. I don't think they realized how much he wanted to help. Daddy and Uncle Pete are chopping firewood. Ooh, keep back, says Daddy. There are splinters flying about. I go and sit on the swing. Everybody's busy. Everybody is having a good time. Everybody, except me. What's up, champ? It's Grandpa. Got a minute? Sure. I run over to Grandpa. We go out the gate and down the muddy road. Where are we going, Grandpa? You'll see. At the end of the apple orchard is a big tree. Chestnuts, says Grandpa. I'll knock them down with my stick if you'll pick them up and put them in this basket. Soon, the basket is full. We sniff the cool evening air mm, as we walk home. Someone has lit a wood fire. Do you see it snowing too? Chestnuts, everyone cries when we come in. You found some chestnuts to roast in the fire. Grandma brings a bowl of sweet butter and the salt shaker. Grandpa splits the chestnuts with his pocket knife and we poke them into the fire. Mmm, they are good. Well, that was definitely a Thanksgiving treat that he wouldn't have had if he'd been busy doing all those other things. So it was nice that Grandpa found him and found something for him to do. Well, shall we do a finger play about something I really don't think you'll be eating on Thanksgiving Day? But if the turkey burns, it's always a good thing to fall back on. Let's get out our hot dogs. I've got my five little hot dogs and they're cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. So four little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Three little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. Two little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. One little hot dog is cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and the one went bam. So no little hot dogs are cooking in the pan. The grease got hot and the pan went bam. Let's have our last story. This is called Thanks for Thanksgiving. This book is by Julie Marks, illustrated by Doris Barrett, and it's published by HarperCollins. Thanks for Thanksgiving for turkey and pie. Thank you for fall and gold leaves floating by. Thank you for school. I love to feel smart. Thank you for music and dancing and art.
Thank you for play dates, for swings, and for slides. Thank you for hopscotch and piggyback rides. Look at all those apples. Mmm. Do you like apples? I do. Thanks for sweet puppies and soft, furry cats. Thank you for dress up, red shoes, and big hats. Thanks for umbrellas, for rain boots and puddles. Thank you for mommy and warm, cozy cuddles. Thank you for daddy and rides on a sled. Thank you for kisses and tucks into bed. Thanks for the moon and the stars up above. But most of all, thanks for the family I love. There they all are having their Thanksgiving dinner. Are you ready to shake a little bit? Get your hands ready. Can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. And can you clap, clap, clap your crazies out, clap, clap, clap your crazies out, clap, clap, Clap your crazies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out? Stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you yawn? Yawn your sleepies out, yawn. Yawn your sleepies out, yawn. Oh, I think this is a real one. Yawn your sleepies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake. Shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. Well, let's get ready for some fun on the flannel board. I just need to get these pieces in the right order. So let me see, we're going to have one. And then we're going to have two. And then we're going to have three. And then what comes after three? Four. And we always have to have one more, so five fat turkeys. Well, five fat turkeys were getting Rather nervous, Thanksgiving Day would soon be back. So one turkey put on a duck suit. And now he says, gobble, gobble, quack. Four fat turkeys were getting nervous. Thanksgiving was coming, not going. So one turkey put on a pig suit. And now he says, gobble, gobble, wink. Three fat turkeys were getting nervous. Thanksgiving was 
in just one week. So one turkey put on a mouse suit and he went gobble, gobble, squeak. Two fat turkeys were getting nervous, but one said, I know what I'll do. So that turkey put on a cow suit. And now he says, gobble, gobble, moo. So that left one fat turkey getting nervous. He said, I want my ma. So that turkey put on a sheep suit. And now he says, gobble, gobble, ma. Did you see any turkeys? I could have sworn there were five around here. I guess I'm wrong. Well, thank you for joining us for some Thanksgiving stories. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. And Violet and I will, as I said, we'll take a little bit of a break, but we'll see you in January. So, can you say bye? Go ahead. Bye.